1937, Marlene Dietrich spends her holidays in Austria, not far from Ober Salzburg. She is accompanied by her Hollywood colleague Douglas Fairbanks Jr., as well as by a small camera with color film. Daughter Maria and Rudy Zebra, her husband-to-be, are also present. In Venice, Marlena meets her original benefactor, Josef von Sternberg. She is happy, even though not a financial success in Hollywood. Venice should be seen only at dusk, she writes to her daughter. We drink Dom Perignon, walk over small arched bridges, and listen to the songs of the gondoliers. Marlena Dietrich spends the summer with friends in southern France. The man in her life is the author Eric Maria Remarquet, but the 22-year-old John F. Kennedy obviously attracts the diva's attention. Marlena has been a U.S. citizen for several weeks. She rejected Hitler's request that she return to Berlin. Now, she is one of those immigrants, a term bearing a negative connotation in Nazi propaganda. <laughs> 